Hello friends. So today we are going to discuss the concept of min term and max term. In my previous lecture, uh, we already discussed about what is SOP, POS, and what is standard SOP and what is standard POS. So in that form, we call what is min term. Min term is each individual term each individual term in the standard soft form in the standard soft form okay is called min term and what is standard soft standard soft is a soft form in which each literal is present in each product term okay so suppose if we have y is equals to a b c plus a b bar c bar plus a bar b c bar so this is a soft form yes because these each term is a product and we take the sum of these products so this is a soft form whether this is a standard soft form or not yes this is a standard soft form why because the total literals in the output is function is a b c so each three literals a b c are present in each product term therefore this is a standard soft form so so in this standard soft form each individual term can be represented by a concept of min term okay similarly what is max term max term is each individual term each individual term in the standard pos form in the standard pos form is called max term suppose y is equals to a plus b product of a plus b bar so see here this is a pos form y we, this is a sum this is also a sum term and we take the product of this sum term so this is a pos form this is the standard pos form or not yes this is a standard pos form because there are only two literals so the two literals each in each sum term the two literals are present so this is a standard pos form so in standard pos form this each individual term that is a plus b a plus b bar and so on are each individual term are called as max term okay so why we are using this min term and max term uh, in the standard SOP and POS, so the reason is that it these min term and max term both allow us allow us to introduce a very convenient a very convenient shorthand notation shorthand notation to express the logic function express logic function so this is the uh, this is why we are using min term and max term in the standard sop and standard pos form because it gives a, a way to represent in a short method for the logic function okay so how we can represent in a short way suppose for the min term and max term okay so the total number of min term and max term depends upon or you can say uh, the number of min term and max term is equal to 2 to the power n okay where n is what is n here number of variable or we can say number of literals okay suppose they in this case y equal to a plus b uh, dot a product of a plus b bar so there are total number of uh, variable is 2 so therefore the min max term uh, in case of pos form the max term is the representation so the total number of max term is 2 to the power 2 is 4 so there are 4 max term here so how we represent the min term and max term for the SOP, standard SOP and standard pos form respectively in the following way see uh, each min term each min term is represented by is represented by 
small m of i okay where i is equals to 0 1 and up to 2 to the power n minus sorry 2 to the power n minus 1 okay similarly okay similarly each max term is represented by capital m of i okay so each min term is represented by small m of i where i is equals to 0 1 2 up to 2 to the power n minus 1 and each max term is represented by capital m of i okay so how we can represent with the help of uh, this min term and max term see so to represent the logical expression so suppose if we have y is equals to a b c okay a bar b c plus a b bar c bar okay so first of all this is a logical expression okay in which form this is a standard soft form so for the corresponding standard form uh, soft form we have a min term okay so this is logic expression okay this is a logical expression which is in standard soft form okay now we have to represent it in the min term so the corresponding min terms are how we can represent it see here a b c a b and c this means a is 1 b is 1 and c is 1 so the tot in so fi for finding the uh, the min term sub, uh, just uh, uh, remember a few things uh, for the three variable we take the value as 4 to 1 or for the four variable we are taking as 8 4 to 1 okay and for five variable we are taking the number as 16 8 4 to 1 but here the uh, variables are 3 so we, sub we take just only 4 to 1 as a number now put 1 1 1 what is the sum here 4 plus 2 6 6 plus 1 7 so this will represent it as small m cell okay why m small m because here each min term is represented by small m of i now next see here a bar b c what is a bar a bar is 0 1 1 so what is the sum here 0 1 1 4 is 0 so we'll take it as 2 plus 1 that is 3 so it will become m3 okay next a bar b uh, sorry a b bar c bar so here a is 1 so 4 is 1 d and c are 0 0 so this will become m4 okay so the min term is y is equals to summation of m small m 3 4 and 7 so this is the other way of representation what is uh, this summation is summation is or sigma denotes the sum of product sum of product so this is how we represent this logic expression in a very short method in this way that y is equals to a plus b plus a bar b c plus a b bar c bar it will become y is equals to summation m min term 3 4 7 so this is the use of uh, using the concept of min term and max term okay now we take one more example for max term suppose if we have y is equals to uh, a plus b bar plus c okay a plus b plus c a bar plus b bar plus c so this is the logic expression this is a logic expression okay which is in a standard pos form now we have to represent it in a uh, max term so pos form standard pos form is represented by a max term that is capital m so what is the value of this a plus b bar plus c a b bar and c so what is the value of here we remember that is 4 to 1 okay so 4 to 1 so but here in the pos form we take the complemented as 1 and uncomplemented as 0 so this will become 4 as 0 2 become 1 and this is again 0 so what is the value of this this is 2 so it will become m2 okay next we have to take the value of a b and c but in the pos form uh, we will represent uh, uh, non uh, in a non complemented form as 0 so this is 0 this is 0 this is 0 what is the summation of this this is m0 and the last value is a bar 
B bar and C bar. So complemented formula we will take in the cos form as 1 here and this will become 0. So 4 plus 2 that is 6. So this will become M6. So this is the max term. This is the max term. So the other way of representing uh, the uh, standard POS form in the max term is y is equals to we will take this pi and capital M and this will become 0, 2 and 6. So this is the other way of representing what is this pi here that denotes the product of sum. Product of sum. So the in uh, in general the logic expression which is in the pause form is in this way and the shorthand representation of this logical corresponding logical expression is this here. So y is equals to pi capital M this is max term 0 to 6. So this is how we can represent uh, the min term and max term for the corresponding standard SOP and standard pause. Now we take or we can uh, create a truth table, table for the min term and max term for the three variables. So how we can represent it? See here we min term and max term for three variable okay so we are creating a truth table to understand it more clearly so the variables are a b and c then we have to represent in min term so min term is represented by small small m of i okay then we have to represent the max term which will represent it as capital M of i. So the truth table will become uh, 4 times 0, 4 times 1, 2 times 0, 2 times 1, 2 times 0, 2 times 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Now, how we represented a uh, min term m of i? What is the value of here? a, b, c. So min term means standard soft form. So in the standard soft form, this will become a bar, b bar and c bar. So all the value will be, or the three value is 4 to 1. So all three value will be 0. So it will represent it as small m0. Now for this value, value uh, z, a is 0, b is 0, c is 1. So it will represent as a bar b bar and c so it will become 4 and 2 will be 0 c is 1 so m1 here then a bar b c bar so this is m2 then for the next value is a bar b c so 4 2 plus 1 3 this is m3 similarly a b bar c bar so a is 1 here in the case of soft, uh, soft form so this is m4 now a b bar c 4 plus 1 that is 5 then a b c bar 4 plus 2 is 6 so this will become m6 and for the last value a b c so 4 plus 2 6 6 plus 1 7 so this will become m7 so this is how we represent the min term for all the three variables now similarly if we now we take the max term so this will become a plus b plus c. Why here? Why a plus b plus c? Because in the max term uh, is the standard pause form, and in case of pause form, we take zero as uh, complemented form. So this all three values are zero. So we will represent it a plus b plus c. So this will become m zero capital M zero. Now the next is a plus b plus c bar. So in case of uh, complemented, it will take as one here. So this will become m one. Then a bar or you can say sorry a plus b bar plus c this will become m2 the next value is a plus b bar plus c bar this will become m3 then a bar plus b plus c this will become m4 the next value is uh, the 101 so it, this will become a bar plus or uh, b plus c bar this will become m5 then 110 one for 110 one it will a bar plus b bar plus c it will become m6 and for the last value is a bar plus b bar plus c bar is equal to m7 so this is how we create or we construct the truth table for the three variable in the terms of min term and the max term okay so this is 
concept of min term and max term uh, in the min term is uh, is a representation or in a shorthand form for the standard soft form and for the max term is a represent shorthand representation for the standard post form and if you have any query then you can ask in our comment section so keep watching our video thank you so much